Air Protein, it's a new California-based startup that says it's developed the world's first ever air-based meat. What does that even mean? I'm not sure the company's CEO, Lisa Dyson, is joining us via Skype to explain. So Lisa, welcome. I have to ask you, how do you make this air protein? What, what is it even? We actually begin with elements of the air and microorganisms. And those microorganisms are able to convert carbon dioxide into protein. And the process, we call it a probiotic production process, it's actually very similar to making yogurt. Um, but the difference is that our microorganisms are able to convert CO2 carbon dioxide into protein. And it's a process that uses significantly less land than traditional ways of making protein, whether we're talking about plant-based protein or animal-based protein, and it's significantly more sustainable overall. That's really neat, Dr. Lisa, but can you tell us a little bit about what it might taste like? It's actually a flower that is the output of this, an air protein flower, and it's very nutritious. Um, it's actually a very neutral flavor, uh, and that's actually good because it allows you to create many different product formulations. And so we're really happy that we made the first uh, air-based meat with this, um, but you can make a number of other things, everything from protein-enriched pastas to protein-enriched cereals to protein shakes and protein bars. So it's very versatile ingredient. And just to come back to the nutrition piece, it actually has twice the protein content that you, than you would find in soybeans. Uh, and it's got all the essential amino acids. So it's really, uh, you know, it's a complete protein. Uh, in addition to that, it has vitamins and minerals, including B vitamins, which are really you know, important for a healthy diet. This mm -hmm. is really awesome. But how soon are we going to be able to buy it at the grocery store? You know, it takes a while to scale up. It'll be soon. And so this is a way of introducing an ultra-sustainable way of making nutritious foods for the future population. Well, and I'd love to sit here and pretend like I know exactly how this process works. I will leave it to the experts, but I love the concept. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly we'll keep our eyes open for when your product comes to market and just have to give you a lot of credit for your ingenuity yeah. here. It's a, it's a unique concept, and certainly if it comes to fruition, I think one we'll all be intrigued on. And, and honestly, much like the uh, first cannabis cafe, you know, you start a trend and, and maybe one that becomes ever more present. Lisa, thanks so much for yeah. sharing. This February, I'm just getting warmed up. Follow the doctors. Yes. Follow breaking medical news. Millennials' health is declining at age 27, much earlier than previous generations. CDC is reporting every 15 minutes an American dies from a superbug infection. We really could have the apocalypse. Follow the trends that can save your life. There actually exists a black market of stolen counterfeit and faulty airbags putting lives at risk. Follow the future of medicine. You're saying you could take someone who's 75 and make them 25 again. I saw it, you saw it, and everyone else saw it. This February, feel good. Yeah, that's the spot. Yes. And follow America's Wellness Show, The Doctors.